Hello friends, I am Dr. Avinash Nayak. I welcome all of you to this MOOC on Academic Counseling for ODL Learners. In this video, we shall discuss how people with disabilities can empower themselves through open and distance learning system. Education is an empowering force. People from all sections of society use it to empower themselves. In the open and distance learning system, there is no scope for any discrimination on the basis of caste, class, creed, gender or abilities. The characteristics of open and distance learning system, they match with the needs of the learners with disabilities. This is also an attractive alternative to the people with disabilities because they are not required to leave the physical environment where they are living to study at distant places. It also provides them autonomy because they can study in their familiar and favorite environments. Now let us see what are the different reasons why people with disabilities they prefer open and distance learning system. First of all it is convenient. The people with disabilities they can study at their own pace, place and time in the open and distance learning system. Moreover, they are not required to leave the physical environment to study at a distant place. Second, it is suitable. This open and distance learning system fits into the irregular schedule of the people with disabilities. Third, it is flexible. It is flexible because the contents in the open and distance learning system, they are offered in various formats like printed format, audio format, visual format, electronic formats and different formats. Then it is affordable. That means it is cost effective. It is more cost effective than the conventional mode of education. And finally it is anonymous. That means learners in the open and distance learning system, particularly learners with disabilities, they can engage or interact with their teachers and peers without being discriminated. Now in the open and distance learning system, the people with disabilities can only succeed if the people in the support system they are sensitive to their needs, number one. Number two, the infrastructure is in proper place. The resources in the open distance learning system, they should be properly designed so that the people with disability can access these materials without any outside assistance. There are different universities in the world which have supportive policies in favor of the people with disabilities. Now let us take the example of the University of UK, that means UK Open University. In this university, there is a policy for securing accessibility for the people with disabilities and in this university, the number of people getting attracted to the distance education system, particularly people with disabilities, it is very high. It was 19,000 in 2014, which constituted 12% well, of the total enrollment in the university. In this university also, the performance of the learners is judged against a four-stage model of professionalism and accessibility. Then in the Athabasca, that is Canadian Open University, there are policies which are supportive to the people with disabilities. The university provides the course contents in accessible formats. It also provides access to the assistive technologies. It provides examination accommodations and referral services. In the Alama Iqbal Open University, the learners with disabilities, they are given free education up to the PhD level. In the UNISA, that is University of South Australia, the learners are given the study materials, the course contains in alternative formats, like in the electronic format, in the audiovisual format, and there is also facility of sign language some of the contact groups. In all these universities, the policies of the universities are in favor of the people with disabilities because they have a social mission. In the recent past, the integration of the OTI technologies with the ICT and assistive technologies have empowered. It has empowered the people with disabilities and it has ensured their access retention and success. Thank you very much.